Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So while you all were sleeping, yes, I was here making sure that I caught all the action so that I could share my thoughts with you once the races were done. And let me tell you something, the girls came out, they looked good and they ran even better. And I'm going to get into my thoughts as it relates to the run. Plus also there's one particular athlete that I didn't really call, you know, into the bigger scheme of things because wasn't really sure what she'd be looking like. And guess what? She turned up. So she kind of you now throws things, you know, a little bit tilts, you know, things that a little bit as it relates to my top you know five athletes heading into the finals previously she kind of shake that up a bit she sh definitely shake it up a bit but guess what track is i'm gonna get into it so in the women's 100 meters you know clocking the fastest time you know what i mean to head into the semis was a mary jose talu yes so she clocks a 10.87 seconds to have the fastest time, you know, heading in. And as I said, for me personally, I didn't call her. And the only reason I didn't call her this time around, typically she's right in my top ranks, you know, always fourth in my brain as it relates to, you know, where the medals are coming from and where she ranks. But this time around, I was hesitant. But guess what? Girl turned up, girl shut that down. And she said, look here, a championship. I'm ready for run. And she turned up and she clocked the fastest time, looking very good as well. Track is in her heat to win her race. No, incidentally, she won her race over Shelly and Fraser Price. Yes, so she beat Shelly. Shelly ran at 10.92. So Shelly has the second fastest time heading into the semifinal. But I just saw the beating start become a warm. I couldn't know. Say, Shelly, whoa, Shelly. Shelly is coming for a gold medal. Let me tell you something. Shelly get that start there and Shelly shut it down on cruise. I said, wait, it's over. It's over. It's over now. It's over. Matters will put the gold medal on Shelly neck. <laughs> uh, that's what I was thinking, Chuckies. But, you know, big and serious, um, Shelly and Fraser Price looked absolutely, you know, amazing. My thoughts, you know, heading into the championships were, for me, she looked much better than she did look last year. Um, and for me, watching her in her heat run, she definitely gave me that. Um, looking absolutely phenomenal, as I said. Um, clocking at 10.92. You know, just getting out her drive phrase and, you know, cruising home literally um, for that second place, Chuckies. So I'm excited. You know, it's interesting because I was saying on live that look here, based on what I'm seeing here, you know, Shelly may very well, you know, end this championships, you know, this Olympic Games, her last Olympic Games, how she started her first Olympic Games. And guess what? What did she start? She started with gold. Yeah. That's how she rang in her, you know, senior career, her, you know, professional career. She rang it in with a big, bad gold medal, right? So given what I saw here and how good she looked, I'm like, all right, Shelly, all right, we're here for it. We're definitely here for it. You know what I mean? I turned on no gold medal, no time, no deal. You know what I mean? And especially coming from the greatest to ever do it over the 100 meter Shelly and Fraser Price. Look here. I don't even know what status she would have after this if she does walk away with a goal. All I know is, though, Chuck is she looked good in the heat, even though, as I said, finishing second to a Mary Jose Talu. I definitely thought Mary Jose Talu ran a bit harder, um, clearly, than Shelly did. As I said, Shelly, for me, shut it down once she came out of the start, starting blocks. Well, not the starting blocks. Sorry, the dry face. <laughs> she just don't want she came out of the dry face. But um, Talu looked good. Talu also looked good. So as I said, she's in the conversation for me when we talk about medals. Now, it's interesting because Shakiri ran, Julian Alfred ran, Melissa Jefferson ran, and guess what track is? As I said, it's interesting because, you know, these are three of the, you know, the, the out of the five that I had making it, you know, to the top five pole positions. And incidentally, Chuckies, I couldn't separate them. Yeah, I couldn't separate them. They all looked good, but they all looked the same kind of good. No, don't get me wrong. They clearly, you know, execute different types of races, but they all looked very, very impressive, which is quite interesting. Now, Shakira Richardson, you know, won her heat running a 10.94, right? Julian Alfred won her heat running a 10.95. And Melissa Jefferson finished second in her heat running a 10.96. So track is virtually nothing separating these athletes as far as I'm concerned. And as I said, they all looked easy. Now, as I said, Melissa Jefferson finished second, but even though she finished second, she looked better than, I believe, a Daryl Nita who beat her, you know, in that race. She, in my opinion, looked much better than a Daryl Nita executing the race. I believe Daryl Nita ran much harder. You know, Daryl Nita was pretty, you know, close to her personal best as well in that race. For me, Melissa Jefferson was very, very easy. But, Again, let me reiterate, 
Shakiri Richardson, Julian Alfred, Melissa Jefferson, all interestingly look the same kind of good to me, which again makes things more imp interesting because I thought going in that Shakira Richardson would make, you know, herself that much, you know, clear, you know, show us that she's that much better than everybody else in the heat. But I didn't get that. I didn't see that. No, I'm not saying she wasn't impressive. You know what I mean? But I was just expecting her to separate herself from the field, show us her true caliber. I mean, never see that tracky. So I was kind of surprised. Me, I said, okay, all right. Make we see what I go on when finals roll around. All I know is trackies. Guess what? The Shakiri that I thought wasn't beatable right now is looking very, very beatable. Based on what I saw in the heats and given what everybody else did track is, it's a toss-up at this particular point when it comes to who would really walk away with the medals. I believe, though, once we get to the semis, we will definitely see much more and we will definitely see a clearer separation between who is really the best. You know what I mean? I definitely expect that in the semis. But right now, and I'll tell you no lie, me now I really see no separation. Now, when it comes to a Tia Clayton, Tia Clayton ran an 11 seconds um, run. She finished second in her race. Got an absolutely fantastic start. And I think around 60, you know, she was cruising trackies and as such finished second in her race. Um, what's interesting to me, though, with the whole Tia, um, it was a good enough race for me, very easy as well. But the concern is seen, you know, a strapping on her hammy. No. For me personally, looking at how she executed her race, given the fact that she got a fantastic start, a bullet start, I'm thinking that, you know, that's, you know, strapping is probably just precautionary, you know, at this particular moment. That's my, you know, at least hope uh, when I saw Atia Clayton on the line. So hopefully when we get to the semifinals, you know, the performances um, will definitely, you know, improve. As I said, I thought she ran well within herself. And I think she still, you know, maintains one of those top pole positions in my mind, given the performance that I saw from her, even though, she finished second in her race. Now, we also did have um, as well running Asasha Lee Forbes. She finished also second in her, in her race and she ran an 11.19, finishing second to um, Tonisha Tori, who ran at 11.15. Now, for me, Asasha Lee got a fantastic start and was doing well until to the towards the end where Tonisha Tori, you know, overtook her. Tonisha Tori for me was much easier in the race as well. So I'll give Tonisha Tori that. However, when it comes to making the final track, it's going to be tough for both of these athletes you know to make it but i definitely think Shashali forbes had a fantastic run i was definitely impressed by her can't wait to see what she pulls off in the semi-final what i will say though track is what i will point out is that given how these athletes ran as i said melissa jefferson plays second sheldon fraser price plays second Tia Clayton plays second. And it wasn't because they weren't good enough to win, but they were just, you know, relaxed and running. You know what I mean? Doing just enough to qualify. It means say, based on how they seed these races, trackies, potentially we could see a throwdown. One of those, you know, you call do or die, you know, semifinals, they semifinals of death. We are gonna see potentially a couple semifinals of death, given the fact that some of the athletes you'd have expected to win their race finish second. When see the go on, where I got my track is them literally go throw the wall of them pretty much in the same semi, and it's going to be a dog fight for those spots to qualify to the finals. Luckily, they take nine now, which is one extra spot, but still, it's gonna be a dog fight in my opinion to make it from you know the semifinals to the finals, given the fact that again, as I said, some of the top flight athletes play. Second second you know just doing enough to qualify right so keep an eye on those semifinals once i get the semifinal start list guys i'll be telling you exactly you know my thoughts as it relates to how these races may you know pan out right but right now i'm telling you i'm foreseeing some semifinals of death right other athletes to look out for i thought dina looked absolutely fantastic in her race as well right so dina is one to look out for she you know ran a 11 seconds on the nose i believe as well or an 11.01 from Adina Asher Smith. So look out for her as well. So those are the athletes that I would really say um, to keep an eye out for. Yes, um, Daryl Nita ran fantastic as well. The Canadian um, um, Audrey Ludek also ran really well. But when it comes to, you know, making um, the finals and meddling, I'm not really considering these athletes. Uh, Iwa Soboda also ran, you know, well as well, right? But as I said, when it comes to making finals and, you know, meddling, these are not the athletes that I'm considering. I think my top athletes remain the same, though no, 
as I said, there is a shakeup because I'm now throwing in a Mary Jose Talu. I know that people say, hey, Mary Jose, Mary Jose Talu always runs fast in a heat, but doesn't really, you know, replicate that in the finals. Guess what? Track is different here. All things remaining equal. Let's see what she does this time around. I'm going to, you know, leave things as is as it relates to how she's performing. She's performing good. And right now, she's definitely a medal threat and she's definitely a content, a contender to me. Now, Track is, it's your turn. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So did you watch these races and what did you think? What do you think about Shelly? What do you think about Tia? What did you think about Sasha Lee? Also, Shakiri Richardson. Did you expect her to separate herself, show her prowess earlier on? Did you get that? You know, am I the only one that is tripping here? Am I the only one that's thinking that I did, it didn't look as impressive as I was hoping, right? And what do you think about a Julian Alfred and a Melissa Jefferson? Because as far as I'm concerned, all of them look the same. They all look the same, kind of impressive. Do you also think so now? And do you think those medals are even harder to call? No, given the fact of how these semifinals were actually, not semifinals, these heats were actually run. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel. I catch you later.